Hi. <clears throat> um, incidentally, 25 years ago, I started fiddling with HTTP. That's a fun protocol. So, um, yeah, I work for Wolf SSL. I do curl support uh, full time, but I'll get uh, into that a little bit. So, um, curl with this funny logo is actually, an, I hope some of you know, uh, it's an open source project. We do a command line tool, we do a library. But uh, we started out almost 25 years ago, and uh, of course there was, was nothing back then. And this movie premiered actually then in 1996. And then uh, I was writing an IRC bot at the time, as you do, right? We all done that. So, and I wanted a little currency uh, exchange service or translation between rates, you know, Swedish crowns to US dollars today. So I needed to download currency rates from, from a website. How do you do that? I need a little tool to do that. I found one on the web, uh, started working on that, contributing, patching it, put it online, open source, everything's there, started to work on it. Um, other people uh, joined in and we released that thing as curl the first time in 1998, and then it could speak HTTP, Gopher, and FTP, and it could actually upload as well. So uh, it was a fun little thing. Uh, I think we were at uh, roughly 2,000 lines of code. We had 20 command line options. Awesome. We had very few users. Uh, and later in that year, in November, I counted 300 downloads in a single month. So that was awesome. Immediate hit. So yeah, so we started adding code, right? That's 1998, and uh, that's today. So we have uh, grown a little bit since then, 170k lines of code roughly now in the production. We have had one or a few added commit authors over the time. So the blue line being everyone who has ever committed to curl, right? We're reaching a thousand people. Um, a lot of people, and a lot of people are contributing, reporting bugs, helping out running infrastructure or whatever. Uh, we surpassed uh, 2,500 people the other day. So a lot of people are helping out, so it's certainly not just me. But it's still out there, it's still open source. So now then, with all that, sort of, we started in a long time ago, and we've been doing a lot of things. So now it can do a lot of things too, right? So as, uh, it doesn't only do HSTS for, for net node test programs, even if that's the primary purpose, of course, but we do a lot of other crap, right? Uh, and we do uh, protocols way, way, way beyond HTTP and HTTPS, and, FTP and FTPS, and uh, yeah, it's really hard. There are 26 of them at that top, and a lot of other things. So it has really now become sort of the internet Swiss Army knife thing for, for internet transfers, and it is used literally now everywhere. And of course, we started this in, well, I started fiddling with this in 1996, and at that time there were about 250,000 websites, and now we're at 2 billion websites, right? So, of course, we were at the right time, and we had no idea where we were going, and we didn't know where uh, sort of the, the big wave of the internet adoption and everything was going to come, because who were we? We, were, we didn't have any real idea, you know, where to go and uh, what would go, <laughs> was going to happen. But anyway, so this is how it looks like today, right? So we started November 11, 1996 is the date when someone released that first tool that I started to work on. And that's me because I still work on this, and now I work um, at Wolf SSL. So uh, I got a little metal, but I'll get back to that. So we're also on Mars these days, so we're on two planets because we're also part of the Mars landing mission that NASA did. So in the middle of the world, that's curl, right? So and we do uh, provide curl, and it can use up to 36 different third-party dependencies So when you build it, so it's a lot of things. We do releases every eight weeks out of those lines of codes, and there's a lot of docs. We're a lot of authors and a lot of contributors. All of that goes into creating curl. And then we provide things like there are more than 60 different bindings for different languages and environments to use this machine that we're creating. And th those are then used by all those thousands of libraries and devices and tools and stuff to provide. So virtually every internet user today is using curl daily. Most people don't know about it, but you do. All of you use curl all the time. So we support then those 26 different transfer protocols and we run on 86 different operating systems. And that's hard to even mention more than 25, right? Uh, and we run on basically every CPU, uh, CPU architecture you can think of, at least 32-bit or bigger. So we, we estimate roughly 10 billion installations, or maybe it's 20. It's really hard to say. A lot. 
and I still lead the development. I still think this is fun. I spend two, I, I sort of, when I started this, I had this established little system that I, um, I spend two hours of my spare time every day on curl. Uh, when the family goes to bed, I spend it on curl and I have sort of continued doing that. Um, for a long time, that's a lot of hours. And you know, if you spend a lot of hours on something for a long time, something might happen. Uh, so I've done it part time since a few years, and then I've done it full time lately. It's fun. So that's why my my GitHub contribution matrix looks like this. You know, all these commits and stuff. Uh, okay. But I sort of, as you saw before, I'm not alone. And even if I in 2017, I got this Podem Prize Award. So that was fun. <coughs> um, so yeah, we got that sort of started, we've grown, we've done a lot of things, and now it's everywhere. Um, well, almost. Um, so, I just want to then go back to say that it's really hard. I mean, we started this, we got to this point, but it wasn't easy. So when you have something, where do you go from here? It's really hard to foresee the future. Where do we go next? And it wasn't really uh, easy back then either to know that we were going to come to this point uh, when, when everything is the web and internet as we see today. So of course, we try to take uh, things as they come and we don't for, uh, try to, you know, tell too much about the future. If th things happen, we change it and we don't, it doesn't really matter what happens uh, in a year or two, we, we go from here. So what I see about the future and what I uh, think then in particular about Curl's future, it is, I don't think it's a stretch and I think all of you will agree with me when I say that everything will be networked even more in the future, right? So if, if you have something today that is powered if it's not powered, it will be powered soon. You know, they will put in a battery in your devices. Whatever it is, there will be a battery soon. And as soon as you have a battery in your devices, you know, someone will think of the idea to network it because it's going to be a sales argument that's going to be your pitch, right? This little thing is going to be networked tomorrow. And if it's networked, you know, you want internet access with that little device. Your toothbrush, your coffee mug, your light bulbs, whatever. And if it's, you know, it's networked, you want it to have access to the internet, uh, upgrade firmware, talk to the world, tweet, uh, I don't know, send up, send pictures. And if it's there, you know, internet access, hmm, why not run curl? That's, that's the trend. I'm sure it's going to be even more of that. And you know, everything is going to do this. Whatever you have, it's going to have internet access. It's going to speak to the internet and curl is going to be the sort of your natural friend and colleague and best. It's going to be more. And I, I get this question quite a lot then. So what about all these fun new networking te technologies? What are they going to do to curl? But it really doesn't matter because all of these new networking protocols or new networking uh, infrastructures or whatever, they'll just push for more networking, right? And we all speak IP anyway, and all these protocols, they work just fine all over all of these. So it's just going to be even more curl. And of course, on all platforms, because it doesn't matter what, where we go next. We can go to new CPU architectures. We can do uh, Apple M1, so we can stick to uh, x86, or we can invent uh, Risk V. It doesn't matter because it runs on all of these, so it's just going to be even more curl. And um, what is good? It is an established way to do things. So it's. Uh, people find it sort of comforting and, and reliable and safe to so just pick this because you know you can bring it on to your next uh, thing. And of course, HTTP APIs is uh, a very popular thing today. I'm, s I'm sure we're going to see it more uh, going forward. And these days it's really, really rare that you don't provide your documented HTTP API with a documented curl command line, how to run it and drive it, right? So I'm sure that is going to um, go forward and, and uh, just maintain curl as that reliable, uh, always present driver of HTTP APIs. And you know it's there, it's been working, it's, it's safe. And really, libcurl, the library then, has become this uh, de facto standard API because it's, it's there everywhere. It's really, <laughs> there, uh, there aren't that many 
alternatives. So it's stable, and we've been doing this for 20 years. And I like to say this when people say, well, there are, you know, there are alternatives. You can write a replacement for this anytime soon. Sure, you can, but you, it's really hard to replace that uh, long-term reliability, right? It's not that many that I can actually say that we've been doing this stable API for 20 years. Uh, so it's going to be there, it's going to be used even more, and we're sticking to the same API, same A ABI, and you'll just, you know where it is. So more curl is certainly going to be yeah, happening. Uh, I'm just going to then also, <laughs> over the years, then, since we've been open source, we're, we're everywhere, everyone can, can contribute, and we don't have a project that is, we're not controlled by any organization, we're actually not even run by any sort of company, you know, dictating what to do and what not to do, we, we do whatever we want. It has sort of conquered uh, the competitors, so there's really <laughs> not a lot of alternatives when you go for a lot of these pr um, platforms, so it is unparalleled in many, pla many places. Um, and to borrow a net node phrase, it's really rock solid. A lot of people actually, um, I, I get this question quite often, what, are you, what have you been doing the last 10 years? Because we've used curl 10 years ago and it works roughly the same, right? So what are you doing all this? But, uh, and people have this perception that we don't actually have a lot of bugs or, and it just works. It, do, it does just work for, for most people too. And uh, again, emphasize the stable API. We, have, we haven't uh, changed the ABI since 2006. So whatever you do in, in libcurl, you know that you can sort of, yeah, you can upgrade to the latest libcurl and your devices and your operating systems, your, everything is going to remain functional. And that is one of the harder things to do in, in this world, right? And it makes it uh, an even more solid thing. And of course, it is open source. It was open source from the beginning and it's always going to be open source. So it's something to, you know it's going to be there. It's going to stick. It doesn't matter if I get, uh, uh, get run over by a bus tomorrow because it's out there and uh, everything is documented, everything is available. So with this, I think I'm going to sort of, I can promise you that it's going to be even more curl everywhere tomorrow and going forward. Um, Exactly how much is really hard because uh, estimating the number of installations everywhere is <laughs> really tricky. So I say 10 billion installations, but it's very rough. Maybe it's 20, maybe it's five or 30. I don't know. It depends on how you count too. Um, I skipped that little slide I have. So curl is actually used, you know, in, in uh, it's very popular in a lot of uh, high volume mobile apps. So uh, it's, it's in the YouTube, Google, Google Photos, Skype, Instagram and a lot of those. So in, in most people's mobile phones, it's actually present like four, five, ten times. So a lot of installations. And if you think I, I blab a lot of uh, not too many details or whatever, I actually wrote this little book called Everything Curl that features most about curl um, and most of what I've said in more details. And you can find it there and, and whatever. And that's also an open source project. You can contribute and file bugs or whatever. And, and, and again, uh, curl is open source, so anyone is free and encouraged to help out and submit bugs, submit pull requests, or whatever, and we make it even better. Um, that's what I wanted to say. Curl is everywhere. So uh, any questions I think I might be able to answer. Um. Uh, Daniel, uh, thank you for this very useful tool. Uh, my name is Jan Jorz from Six Connect. Um, when I upgraded my home Ubuntu server from 18 to 20, uh, my majority of my home automation stopped working, and it was panic. And then I figured out that curl broke, and uh, that's, that was basically the reason my home automation stopped working because everything that automation software uh, that I'm using can't do, I build it with curl. So yes, it is everywhere and it can be used for everything. Thank you. I didn't get the question, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> ah, um, yeah, so I guess you partially answered this question already. However, um, um, do you have any, I guess, um, rough 
idea of how ma many installations uh, each of curl each person in this room might have because I know it's as you said included in a lot of apps and I think Spotify for example even has it and like uh, so on every device you might have it I'm guessing several times yeah oh yeah so so okay an average person in this room has it in their TV every TV you have and in your car in your printers uh, in every computer you have uh, and like as I said like five ten installations in every mobile phone and tablet so on an average person that's like 30 20 installations or so thank you No more questions? No more questions. All right. Then I'm free to go. Please join me in thanking Daniel. <laughs>